everyone. Happy Thursday. I wanted to get on and uh, share Grant outside with the boys, as we're calling him, Mr. Grant. So, kind of goes with the M names. <laughs> um, we were supposed to pick Grant up yesterday uh, at 3 o'clock, but uh, his owners had some car issues and had to stop about halfway here. Oh, he's going potty. We'll go, we'll go this way. Um, they had to stop about halfway here. They live in Ohio. Um, and they had to stop and get a new battery for their car. They were having car troubles. So we didn't end up meeting them until about 6.30, 6.45, 7. I can't remember exactly what time it was. Um, but... So it was later, and then by the time we got home, because we met them about an hour away from our house, by the time we got home, it was, oh, look at him running. <laughs> it was almost dark, and we let him uh, be out in the backyard for a good while, about 15, 20 minutes. Let me come over here. Yes, I know you want to play ball. I know. <laughs> um, we let him be out in the backyard. Oh, the grass is still wet from the morning dew. And I have flip-flops on. My feet are getting all wet. Um, so, let him be outside. So, it was really dark. So, I couldn't film him meeting the boys. You wouldn't be able to see anything, really. So, yes, yes. You can see, Miggy's still being mouthy to his mom. <laughs> um, so, I didn't film. And it was kind of... A little nerve-wracking for me. Um, are you having fun? Are you having fun, Mr. Grant? Yes. Um, <laughs> he's uh, he's doing great this morning. Anyways, I'll get back to it. So it was a little nerve-wracking introducing the boys. I've only ever introduced younger dogs to the pack. So um, if you don't know, Mr. Grant is. 12 years old, so he's an older boy. He's older than all my boys. My oldest, Mozzie, is nine. Um, so it was kind of a little, I was a little nervous. My stomach was a little upset. <laughs> it was a little upset. Um, thinking about introducing them and how it was gonna go and all that. So, Miggy, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Every now and then, Magnum gets a little upset when Mr. Grant wants to sniff his butt too long. <laughs> but Magnum lets him know, hey, hey buddy, back off a little, back off a little. So, yeah, so things went surprisingly very well. Um, the dog I was most worried about, Max, he almost could care less. <laughs> almost could care less. The kitties, kitten cared less. He came up, sniffed him a couple times and and that was it. Uh, Merlin, uh, he got all fluffy and kind of hissed a couple times, but he's been perfectly fine now. Uh, when Grant was in his crate, Merlin was sticking his paw in there trying to get his, trying to get uh, Grant's paws. Um, so uh, he's, he's all cool with uh, Mr. Grant now, so no problems there. But yeah, uh, Grant, I don't know where he went. Is he over here? Where did he go? Oh, he's back there by the shed um this morning uh, last night too he was kind of walking around the house whining uh crying a little bit um and shaking um probably out of nervousness because he's probably wondering why is he in this house and why isn't he with his family um but um after he ate breakfast and we've been outside a couple times um he's the whining and the shaking has subsided a lot so um i think it's gonna it'll probably take about a week for him to realize this is where he's gonna be now um but i think everything is gonna be just fine so <laughs> tomorrow yes where's your ball where's your ball miggy Maggie, where's your ball? Are you talking to Grant? Are you talking to Grant? Yeah, Magnum growls. He growls at him when he's sniffing his butt a little too long. But that's about it. So, but he does have an appointment uh, with the vet tomorrow morning. Maggie, 
Hold on, I'll, I'll get your ball. Okay, Grant. That's enough sniffing. That's enough sniffing Amanda's buddy's not liking it. Um, come on, this way. Everybody come this way. Come on. Let's come this way. <laughs> Magnum wants to play with them. He just don't like the sniffing of the butt too much. <laughs> That's been my only problem. And he don't like when he's sniffing the other people too long. He's just vocal with them and lets them know. Yeah. And then Grant stops. <laughs> um... So anyways, he has a vet appointment tomorrow morning at 8.30 in the morning because he's been limping a little bit on his back right leg. He's been lifting that leg up. His nails are way too long. Um, they said he was groomed Saturday, but whoever they had groom him, um, they left his nails too long. So I don't know if it's due to the nails being long. Um, so tomorrow when they check him over, I'm going to have them clip his nails because I really don't want to... Um, do that right now since he's just getting used to me. Yep, Milo's letting him know too. They're just saying hey, stop sniffing our butts. <laughs> and that's got to happen. I know some people might think that's bad, but that's got to happen. They've got they've got to let him know his place in the pack. So they're not being mean to him. They're just saying hey, back off a little fella. <laughs> right Magnum? Right boy? Sorry for the change up in the video but I'm filming on my phone and my husband called in so I had it cuts my video off so we are now in the house and everybody's relaxing Mr. Grant is relaxing over here on the chair um we're outside for quite a while um while I talked on the phone and I can't remember what I was talking about last I think I was about to talk about um, oh, I think I was going to tell you that when the family was bringing him uh, to drop him off, um, when they stopped to have to get a new battery for their car when they were having car troubles, um, sometime during that time when they went to get Grant out of the car, they said when he got out, he fell on his side. And they think that's why he's limping. Um, I'm not sure if that's um, why he's limping or if it could be um, from something else not sure um, so could be because of his toenails I don't know but I don't want to mess with his paws too much um, I want to get him to trust me so I'm gonna have the vet check him out and clip those toenails and we'll go from there I also kind of want to let him I want the vet to kind of just kind of look him over and see if they suggest um, getting any blood work done or um, anything like that to check him over. So, yeah, so that's where we're going from here. Um, getting that leg checked out tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. Um, I want to say a big thank you to all those. Miggy, let Mr. Grant relax. Miggy, Milo, leave Miggy alone. Miggy, leave Mr. Grant alone. <laughs> let him relax for a little bit. Miggy. I, um, Miggy and I want to say huge thank yous to those who have donated for his surgery. We appreciate it so much, don't we, Miggy? We appreciate it so much, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, even, someone even donated um, towards Grant's future vet bills that he may have since he's a senior dog. So you guys... Blow me away with your kindness. I appreciate it so much. So if you're not on my Facebook page or you didn't see the community post, Miggy's surgery is scheduled for uh, the 14th. What is today? Is today the 3rd or 4th? I can't remember. <laughs> so just over a week away, he's going to be having his surgery. I've already got a list of questions I want to ask the surgeon. Um... I even have a couple questions to ask, ask Dr. Pearson before the surgery happens. I joined a um, support group for dogs with TCC, uh, bladder cancer, on Facebook. Now, we don't know for sure if that's what it is yet. Dr. Pearson seems to think that's what it is. Um, but we don't know for sure until we have the surgery and have the mass tested. Um, there were a couple encouraging things that she said at least to me I don't know if she meant them to be encouraging but I'm gonna take them that way 
<laughs> she said that the masses, um, when dogs have TCC, are usually rough in shape, and this one is smooth. I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, what else did she say? The other thing that was encouraging is that when she did the ultrasound, she checked his kidney, liver, lymph nodes, and she didn't see any problems there. So that's encouraging to me um, because if this is what it is, it will spread to other organs. Um, there was something else. I can't remember what else um, she said that makes me have a little bit of encouragement. It's really encouraging that it's not in the neck of the bladder because a lot of them are. Um, and then surgery usually is not possible. And I've learned through this group that um, there are some medications that do help slow the growth of this tumor if your dog has an in inoperable uh, TCC tumor. Um, so I'm learning a lot being on that support group and I'm very grateful for it because as I said in the video when I was bawling my eyes out that I started googling this stuff and the things I was reading were just not encouraging at all and since joining this group I've learned that many of the dogs that have had this have lived one two three years um, with medication or having surgery with medication so I'm very encouraged by it and I'm still praying to God multiple times a day that look at Miggy's ears. <laughs> Miggy, do you want on my lap? Do you want up here? Come on. You can go. <laughs> um, I'm praying to God still multiple times a day, still shedding tears, um, that this is not TCC. Um... <sighs> I'm still praying that it's not. Yes, I'm hoping whatever it is is benign. Um, and it could happen. God works miracles. Um, and if we think positively and pray, it can happen. Um, just like with when Mozzie, remember we found just recently that bump on, on the muscle of his back. can't remember if it was his back left leg or right leg. I can't remember. And I thought for sure it was cancer because it was on the muscle. And that's even what the doctor at the surgical center thought it may be. She, she mentioned it. It could be, it, it very well may be that um, since it's on the muscle. And then when they um, went in to check, I think, did they do an ultrasound? Yeah, I think it was an ultrasound they did on him too to check that bump. And it, it turned out to be that it was just a fatty mass. And my husband was checking the other day because I asked him, do you think it's grown at all? Because he's been... Kind of, because he's the one who found it, so I had him keeping an eye on it um, to see if it was growing. Because if it started to get big, we were going to have it removed. And um, he can't even feel it anymore. So it's either gotten so small, he can't feel it anymore, or or it's gone. I, I'm I'm not sure. So, um, so we thought for sure that that was going to be cancer, and it wasn't. So, um, I'm praying and praying and praying, and I hope you guys keep praying and praying and praying that... When we do this surgery and it's tested that and that it's not malignant cancer and and please pray that Miggy comes through this really good. He's seven years old, so what is that? Middle aged really? <laughs> he's still pretty young and he's healthy besides this mass. All his blood work came back good from his senior blood work. Um all his organs are functioning the way they should be. Um, no problems there, so Please keep praying that everything goes good for Mickey. And we thank you guys so, so much for loving our dogs as much as we do. So I think that's about all I need to update you guys on. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, we're going to keep getting Mr. Grant acclimated to his new home. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Sorry guys, I wanted to jump back on real quick because I don't even know if I mentioned this. I should probably rewatch the video and see if I did, but I, I don't think I did. Um, a lot of people are asking me on Facebook to please tell us the backstory with Mr. Grant. Um, I do know that the family adopted him. Um, the lady adopted him when he was one years old from a shelter in Tennessee. Excuse my beeping of my dryer if you can hear it. Um, he was one years old when she adopted him. So she's, so Mr. Grant has lived with this lady and then her husband, um, for 11 years. 
Um, I don't want to go too much into the story about why they decided to find uh, Mr. Grant a new home because I don't want this family judged um, because I know that it happens a lot in posts I see of people having to relocate their dog. Um, just know that Mr. Grant is now in a loving home who will take great care of him and love him with all our hearts for however many more years he may have. So, um, so I don't think I'm going to go into the backstory just like I did it with little Milo here. Um, they're in a good place now and that's all that matters. So, all right guys, we'll see you tomorrow.